Her tribute to the hero of Batalik, Major Aryapan Sarvanan, Veer Chakra Posthumus. On May Day 1999, Tashi Namgyal, a shepherd from Garkon village in Ladakh, located close to the line of control, stopped in his tracks while in search of his lost yak. Suddenly, he saw some men hunkered close to the ground, building a stone bunker. He realized these were not men he had seen before. They were not our army jawans, nor were they men from his village. He rushed back to the local army unit and told them what he had sighted. At first, the army unit personnel did not take Tashi's story seriously. However, an army patrol was sent to the northeast of the Batalik sector, and the patrol commander, to his horror, was confronted with the stark reality of Tashi's observation. Our outposts were occupied physically by Pakistani troops, and they were constructing stronger defenses. The rest is history. It took the armed forces three months and the loss of 474 brave men to retrieve our posts back and keep our frontiers safe and free once again. And one among those who had fallen in the line of enemy fire was Major Mariyappan Sarvanan, VRC Posthumus of the 1st Fighting 1st Battalion of the Bihar Regiment. Major Mariyappan Sarvanan was born on 10th April 1972 at Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. He was the eldest child and only son of late Lieutenant Colonel A. Mariyappan and Mrs. Amardavali Mariyappan. Lieutenant Colonel A. Mariyappan was a medical officer in the Indian Army Medical Corps and a proud father of an only son and two daughters. He was a very tenacious, fearless, and a brave man with a heart full of compassion and empathy for the suffering and needy. This passion to serve in helping the cause of human suffering made him join the Army Medical Corps. Colonel A. Mariyappan had marked his son at a very early age to imbibe the sterling qualities of the spirit of service, fearlessness, tenacity, grit, determination, courage, and a strong conviction of truth. In short, Colonel A. Mariyappan was Major Sarvanan's Dronacharya. He introduced him to military skills from the age of five, when young Sarvanan learned to hold a gun and shoot at figure 11 targets at the open ranges. Lieutenant Colonel A. Mariyappan, who was sent to Sri Lanka with the IPKF for Operation Pavan, returned home on leave and was badly injured in a road accident and succumbed to his injuries on 19th June 1988. His untimely demise had a devastating effect on the family. Not yet 16 and still in his teens, Major Sarvanan took on the mantle of his late father and became a pillar of strength and moral support for his mother and the two younger sisters. He graduated from St. Joseph's College, Trichy, his prestigious alma mater and was waiting to make his professional choice. His college principal remembers him as a student ever smiling, ever helping, and a dedicated chairman of the Students' Council. The army was in his blood. On 9th May 1994, Sarvanan joined the Officers' Training Academy at Chennai and after a rigorous schedule of one year's training, he was commissioned into the Fighting 1st Battalion of the Bihar Regiment. On 11th May 1995, 
already trained as a fearless young blood hawk by his father, Sarmanan successfully completed the Vios course at Infantry Officers School of Training at Mao. He went on to complete the arduous commando course at Belgaum. He went on to attend other courses like the improvised explosive device training at Pune, winter warfare course at the High Altitude Warfare School, Hawes, at Gulmarg and Dras. These courses honed his military skill and prowess. By now, Major Sarvanan had a clear vision of his future career and had set well-defined goals to accomplish them. He was posted to places like Kuch Bihar, Tamalpur, Indo-Bhutan border, Assam. As an officer, Major Sarvanan carried on his duties with utmost commitment, dedication and devotion. His men loved him and he endeared himself to his officer colleagues and superiors. He was a great source of inspiration and exemplary in his conduct. The men he commanded deeply respected him and held him in awe. He was their commander and professional mentor and brother in arms. His battalion, after a brief stint in the Northeast, moved to the insurgency infested area in Jammu and Kashmir. He wrote to his mother excitedly, telling her, Amma, this is the opportunity I'm waiting for to prove my mettle. The lion inside him was stirring and struggling to break free. True courage is something many aspire for, but few achieve. Sarvanan had a surfeit of it. On 14th May 1999, Majan Sarvanan made his last telephone call to his beloved mother. He told her, Amma, I'll get you a Veer Chakra. I love you all. Do take care of yourself, Chitra and Revati. Kargil and Dras is one of the most inhospitable terrains in the world. No grass grows there. It's a vast, rugged, snow-capped, mountainous terrain with temperatures of minus 50 to minus 60, very akin to the frozen Siberian wasteland. His dear mother was unaware where her son was or the inclement conditions under which her son was discharging his loyal duties. Operation Vijay, 1999. Operation Vijay commenced on 26th May, 1999. The Jubar Hills in the Batalik sector was a strategic point and posed a military threat to the logistical lifeline linking the National Highway 1 from Leh to Siachen. A series of attacks had been launched on point 4268, but of no avail. Major Sarvanan volunteered to launch a fresh attack with Charlie Company. He moved with his men to the RV after having carried out a meticulous map and terrain study and with his final attack plans. It was a formidable task and the odds were heavily loaded against him. As the enemy had full control of the heights, which ironically were our own bunkers. The height of point 4268 at Jubar Hills was 14,229 feet. Major Sarvanan led his men from the front. There were limited options for his approach. It was a frontal attack. The ascent was treacherous with jagged, broken terrain. It was a great physical strain compounded by the lack of adequate oxygen. Breathing was difficult and the climb had to be paced and deliberate. Nothing now could deter Major Sarvanan as he crossed the FUP and was meters away 
from the enemy post. The rush of adrenaline and the mission to be accomplished surged inside him. He gave his final command to his men. Javano, karo ya maro. Do or die. During the intense battle that ensued, Major Sarvanan was seriously wounded by a gun burst in his stomach. On hearing that one of his fiercest commanders was wounded, the commanding officers gave orders to Major Sarvanan to stop the attack and pull back. But Major Sarvanan knew that there was no way of stopping now, as he and his men were now almost on the enemy. He radioed back to his commanding officer after some of his men had fallen. And he told him, Sir, Dushmano ne meri jawano ki jaan li hai. Main unko zinda nahi chhodunga. Translated, it means, Sir, the enemy has killed some of my brave men and I will not leave him alive. He told the rest of his men to press on and not get disheartened as they saw their brave colleagues fallen in the line of fire. But he told them to just move on, unmindful of his injuries and personal safety and with true grit and steely resolve, he charged and destroyed three more Sangars. By this time, he received another burst of bullets on his chest. Under our own artillery overhead cover, he charged through a hail of bullets and firmed, fired his rocket launcher on the enemy. The bunker was destroyed, killing two of the enemy men on the spot. In this fierce exchange of fire, Major Sarvanan sustained splinter injuries. Despite facing a heavy volume of fire, he eliminated another two men and when he was hit by another burst on his head, he fell down in a ravine and finally he succumbed to his injuries. On the morning of 29th May 1999, at 0630 hours, Major Sarvanan breathed his last. Major Sarvanan had made the supreme sacrifice in the highest traditions of service in the defense of his motherland. This extract has been taken from the obituary and citation from the regiments. Before his final assault on the enemy, Major Sarvanan told his commanding officer, Sir, Chengesh ko kuch nahi hoga. Just watch the fun. Translated, it says, Sir, nothing will happen to Chengesh. Just watch and see. Chengesh was the code name given to Major Sarvanan by his commanding officer for Operation Vijay. Major Sarvanan was no more, but his soul keeps constant vigil over the frontiers in Kargil. His mortal remains could only be retrieved from the heights of the battle zone on 6th July 1999. After 45 days of intense and fierce fighting, when point four two six eight was finally recaptured by the Indian troops. The undeclared war of treachery and evil designs of the enemy had been eliminated. Major Sarvanan's mission was complete. The frontiers of Kargil were free and safe once more. Major Sarvanan's mortal remains were brought home in a sealed casket draped with the Indian tricolor and placed at his mother's feet in their home. Hundred of flower wreaths, garlands, and hand bouquets were placed near the casket and the mourners from the city poured in by the thousands to pay the last respects to the brave hero Abhatalik, a proud son and a martyr of Trichy. For her stoic and indomitable spirit and her rare strength of heart and mind, Mrs. A. Mariyappan was given the title Mother of the Nation and Major M. Sarmanan was dubbed 
as the hero of Batalik. He was awarded the Veer Chakra posthumous for his conspicuous act of bravery and valor displayed in the face of the enemy. In order to keep the memory of Major Sarvanan alive in the hearts and in the hearts of the citizens of the proud city of Trichy, Mrs. Mariyappan and her family members have instituted a memorial trust to honor Major Sarvanan. The family has also built a martyr's memorial cenotaph opposite St. John's Vestry School in Major Sarvanan's honor with a beautiful and impressive plaque. This monument is a living symbol of the saga of one of India's greatest sons and stands as an inspiration to kindle the minds and hearts of our youth and ignite a fire of patriotism to save their nation and don the green uniform, a symbol of dignity and honor. The family will present medals to honor the best cadets of NCC Group Headquarters Trichy for the excellent performances put in at the state and interstate competitions. The family was approached by the Education Department of Tamil Nadu and was successful in having a tribute to Major Sarvanan Saga published in the English Supplementary Reader for Standard 7 as a tool for motivation and awareness and to inspire the student community of Tamil Nadu to choose the army as a glorious and exciting career for both boys and girls. In 2007, to commemorate the 7th anniversary of Vijay Divas, a skating rally was conducted to honor the Kargil Martyrs Day with children participating and also to motivate them to join the army and serve the nation. In 2008, a special postal cover and cancellation was released by the Postmaster General in honor of Major Sarvanan Veer Chakra Posthumus on 26 July 2008. The memory of Major Sarvanan's supreme sacrifice and bravery will be enshrined in letters of gold in the war annals of our nation's history. The saga of this incredible soldier, his grit, determination, undaunting spirit, fearlessness and raw courage will surely ignite the hearts and minds of the youth of our country and inspire them to don the green uniform and defend the territorial integrity and safety of the frontiers of our motherland. Jai Ho! Jai Hind!